hey, you got a Razer Siren X. I'm gonna be going over the settings that I use to get pretty good sound out of this microphone. Let's get into it. First thing, positioning. I have this mount, uh, this mic about that far away from my speaking voice. Found that to be about the best, uh, best distance. Out of the box, there's a very, very short mic stand. Uh, found myself hunching over to be able to talk to it. Didn't work, work out so well. So if you can get yourself a microphone arm and uh, get a position right about there, here, you end up with pretty good results. Also, uh, if you're a little too far away from this, mic has a tendency to sound kind of echoing. Uh, I'm in a room without great, uh, you know, sound dampening like carpet, things like that. So you got to take that into consideration. Next thing is, once this is plugged in the windows, let's go over its settings. For me, I have the volume at about 75. I've noticed that if I put this volume up to 100, it gets really, really distorted and I sound like the announcer in Super Smash Brothers. Not too good. Also, other way around, if I go down into the 40s and 50s, barely hear me. But for me, the sweet spot is 75 right there. There's one other thing you want to change is to go here into the advanced section and there's a ticker here enable and audio enhancements uncheck that you don't want that on now we're going to be going inside obs inside obs yeah desktop section not much i can do about this but inside of this uh i have three filters on this mic to make it sound pretty good now these filters are not included in OBS or Streamlabs OBS by default. They're over here at this website called the Reaper plugin. Reaper.fm slash Rhea, R-E-A plugs. Uh, once there, you wanna download this, the 64-bit version. Next, 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 go ahead and install it. Then restart OBS or Streamlabs OBS. And now you're ready to start adding these things. Now, what I do from uh, a set of perspective is just the absolute minimum. Remove the noise and let the mic do its thing. That's it. So to do that, order does matter too. You have to add these plugins in, the, in the, this, the exact order for everything to work correctly. So once I get in, start off from the beginning again here. Right click, filters, Hit this plus button and add a VST2X plugin. Once that comes up, you're gonna wanna name it something. I, I usually name it like Rhea Gate, um, just so you know exactly what it is. In this pull down, select Rhea Gate Standalone, and now bring up the plugin interface. Now, you just wanna be fast and move on. What I did is I set this to minus 28. That's basically it. Now. The way I got about uh, getting to that is, if you're absolutely quiet, you can actually measure the amount of background noise inside your room. This plugin just shuts off your mic unless you're ab uh, above a certain volume. Other than that, your mic is 100% off. So if I'm just quiet, you can see right there, that's my ambient background noise. And you wanna have the slider a little bit above that. Now I have it a little bit higher because I also don't want my button clicks to get picked up while I'm playing the game. I'm gonna go ahead and start clacking some stuff. See, it's like right there underneath the, the slider. So that's it for reducing background noise. The next is the plugin you wanna add is another VST2 plugin. And this one, it's the Rhea EQ Standalone. Now, if you open up its plugin interface, you can see what it's doing here too. So I change two things from the default. I go to tab number one, change this pull down to high pass, the frequency to 80. And what that does is a lot of the very, very low level stuff supposedly takes that out. I can't hear it anyway, but I found a guide and I'm just following it. The last, the last thing you wanna do is number four change this to low pass the other one was high pass this one's low pass change the frequency to 20,000 
that removes all the high level stuff that the human ear can't really hear. Uh, it doesn't seem like I'm even putting it out there, but hey, it's there for safety. Now, the last one you want to add is another plugin, the RIA Comp Standalone. And if you open up its uh, plugin interface, this is a compressor. What it does is, if you talk really, really high, really, really low, kind of evens out the volume, put everything in the middle. As you can see, see how I go a little bit above with my, with my volume. So the values that I changed were, and I got this from another video, change attack to three, release to 60, and ratio to four. And threshold, I put it at minus 18. For me, it seems to work out pretty well. I can talk real quiet or real loud seems to work out and with that those are the three three plugins and the windows settings that i have for the razor sear next mic and i've had pretty good success with it so hopefully these work out for you too see ya